yesterday on the, on social media, there is this couple that they go around the world traveling on their bike. They did multiple countries, but right now they are crossing India. And it got like viral because they were camping outside on their tent. And in North India. Seven guys, they came inside the tent, they beat up the husband, and they, they literally raped the girl. I was watching and I was like, man, these are like the things that... You know, you try to disconnect yourself that uh, it happens a lot in India when whenever you're there, you don't want to think about it uh, as much. But it feels like when you, you hear these stories and these stories are, are so barbaric, it, out of the reality of w at least what happens like here, like in, in this country, I'm not saying like rapes don't happen here, like, but they definitely happen in a very low rate. Mm -hmm. Whenever they do, you know, most people go to jail. Like yeah. for, for a lot of years. So that's why a lot of things of these don't happen. But you don't really hear like a lot of like these stories. You yeah. Know? Like these like seven guys enter like a tent and they beat the guy and rape. It's just like, it's just too much, man. Like For me, it is such a helpless and hopeless feeling that I don't think it's ever going to change. Mm -hmm. And the, the worst thing is like every time I put like personally put some kind of content where I talk about that how unsafe women are in India. Yeah. And all these random men, they come and Indian men, they come and they say, oh, India is not that unsafe for women. You know, you're talking about Western culture. Our culture is so superior and blah, blah, blah. Yeah. I was like... We, we get a lot of comments. Yeah. Like, a lot of comments like this. Uh, uh, and they start shaming me to say that. Mm -hmm. But what is this? You know? Yeah. <laughs> when you see these kind of things, uh, I just want to ask these people who come and post like these random comments, like w w what culture is teaching you like these kind of things to do, you know, mm -hmm. uh, I don't feel safe in my own country. I can see like the two sides, right? Like this thing happening doesn't mean like it happens everywhere because like India is also very big. I'm not trying to describe like, yeah. uh, but on the other side, it's like it shouldn't even happen. You know, that, that's that's the, the whole point. It's like these things, they should not happen and they definitely shouldn't happen as frequent as they happen or they tend to happen in, uh, in yeah. India. So know? so like two days or one day before I, I saw this news in Kanpur, I, I am from Kanpur, that uh, these two little girls, like 16 or seven, 16 and 14, they used to work in this uh, place where the, they make the bricks mm -hmm. and the owner and the son and his nephew they raped those two women, those kids, and they made the video, and they were like uh, threatening them to that if you say anything outside, they're gonna leak those videos. Mm. And you know what they did? Those girls, they committed suicide. Yeah. And when you see these things, and when you see men or internet, like literally, I don't know, I don't know how to connect the dots, but it is such a shameful thing. I would say like most of the women in India. They have gone through like these molestation or eve teasing or like these kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. Like I don't think any single woman I would see if, if you're not going out of your uh, house, that's a different thing. Yeah. But oh, yeah, fuck. if you're, if you're outside, like, you're probably gonna. I was experience. like so ashamed, you mm -hmm. know, to read that news. I was like, fuck, that's yeah. insane. You know what is like the crazy thing for me? It's the is this simple thing. Whatever goes now to the news. It's like these very big ones. Yeah. But uh, I'm pretty sure that like the normal ones, like just like a guy with a girl, you know, they don't even now break the news. You yeah. know, they, they don't even come to the news. They hear what is like a big news. It's just like if one girl is molested by another dude, like on, on high school or, uh, you know, on college or whatever, it's already like national news, you know? So, yeah. so I'm saying like the, the tier of like acceptance or it is different in india is like uh, you you have to wait until something really bad happens <clears throat> like this the uh, this delhi case rape case mm -hmm. happened then people got like really you know raised and they did, they get like, alerted a lot of, and all these things right they did like a lot of protests and everything but these cases are happening like all the time every day you know uh, but reality. you said that the girl that she had to drop the, the insta stories right because police said that uh, it can affect the you know the investigation mm -hmm. maybe it's going to affect the investigation but i think in india you kind of start doubting the police also after the point that maybe they don't want this news to reach too many people and all that mm, stuff they try to like the, the damage control or something yeah maybe i don't know what is mm. the case but that happened uh, but I saying personally, I encourage people to travel a lot. Uh, but these things, things like these suck. Rape is not the only problem. 
Uh, yeah, that's what I'm saying. There's a lot yeah. of problems that can happen, you know. Uh, I, I would say like rape is definitely on the top tier one, right? Like of the most rapes and scams. Uh, a lot of Indians, like uh, especially those nationalist ones, they talk about like, oh, India has such a nice image, you know. Mm -hmm. We are like the on top of the world and all that bullshit, you know. Mm -hmm. But they also don't know that if you go outside India, if you ask about the scams, if you ask about rapes. Yeah. The first country which comes to their brains is India. Yeah. You know, and yeah. you just don't want to accept the fact that it but, is but a reality. But do you think like that's because people that uh, they never left India and don't, they don't really know what is the perception that people from outside of India they have? People from the Western countries, they, they see India in a certain way because like those are the things that they see on the news, you yeah. know? Yeah. I'm sure, like, there are good news, like, any country. They have, like, bad news and good news, and there are good things also happen in India. But, like, those good things, usually, they don't come to the Western news, you know? Like, what it comes, like, is uh, the poverty, the, the rapes, uh, molestations, and uh, the scams. Scams are very popular, you scams know? Scams are very popular, Like, yeah. everyone knows, like, the scams Indian and scams rape, and... Uh, and rapes are very popular. Yeah. Uh, Pradeep was also saying that uh, people in India, especially in rural uh, uh, parts of the north of India, fall in front of your vehicle and they try to get money from you. And locals li will literally yeah. uh, abuse and harass you. And female riders are just coming up more and more in India. And things like these will just make women stay at home, which are so sad. Yeah, like northern India is pretty fucked. You know? mm. uh, the police are horrible in India, pretty useless. Seven guys did this horrible thing and three are arrested and, it, yeah. and in itself shows how useless they are. Yeah, See, that, yeah. That, that, that's the, the, the feel like I never lied to, to Pidekri, you know, like it, it feels like I'm being formed on my decision. But I always told her, like, listen, I can't live in India. You know, hmm. like I can go there, I can live for a while, but I cannot build a family there. I, I, I am used to rely on the police, you know? Yeah. I, I Listen, if here, chat, if here you say to a policeman that, hey, I'm going to give you two lakh for you to not find me. You're going to get arrested. Okay. Just straight up. If the countries are more safe. Like it will be like really hard for me to live in the States also. Hmm. Because of the same reasons. Air war, like, is like, I'm probably going to get killed, you know, like, yeah, or shot or, stuff, uh, yeah. you know, like, it's kind of, it's kind of weird. Time to time, I think also this happens to people because happens to me that you keep thinking that things will change or are changing for the best. Like, I see, I, I see a lot of, like, news, like, oh, India now is, uh... Is, is improving technology, is booming, like, the economy and all these things. And I said, okay, maybe, like, okay, maybe the country is advancing in all these things. And and it is. It, it is, in a way. But then you hear, like, you go back to the roots of when you see and hear, like, it feels like it's growing, but the problems yeah. are still there. <clears throat> yeah, you know? it's growing for nothing, literally. If you don't change these problems, if you don't make your citizens feel safe in their own country, mm -hmm. I don't think there is any point to grow the country in any sense. Yeah. There are like very few Indian people who have like these brains and who really respect men, mm -hmm. women, you know? Yeah. But I would say like most of the people, they are so fucked. <laughs> Making like a weird comment on Russian girls or, and all that stuff, mm -hmm. I see on internet, I'm like, what I, the fuck? I feel like uh, education and why education has uh, such a big impact is because not, I, I feel like hopefully with the, now the younger generations have access to internet and all these things, they, they'll have access to, to a new world. Hopefully that together with a good education... You know, it will improve the culture and from the bottom. But I feel I, like also from yeah, the same time, I don't see that improving. But the, bringing internet, five G, and all that stuff, and getting you know those uh, smart cities is not gonna change mm -hmm. anything. But Pradeep is saying, I, I literally had the same conversation with my girl, and I say I'll never want to raise my family in India. Think about settling in Germany, Spain, or Italy. Yeah, I, it's completely. Yeah, we also had the same conversation, and from my experiences, if I have choice to raise my Mm -hmm. girl child or anything uh, in another country i would definitely prefer any other country mm -hmm. over india i will never prefer india to, to you know yeah to it, it, it is understandable there. that's like one of the roots of the problems it's like if you want to change the culture you need people that ha want to stay and feel empowered to make the change but if everyone that wants to make the change gets out, out of the country or gets suppressed, then there is no change. It is a very complex problem. Yeah. Right now, what happens, like, there was a few times that you try to expose your opinion and uh, you're always oppressed, oppressed by or harassed 
on the internet by like these bots yeah and i don't want to do on internet because internet bringing something on internet especially if you don't have any audience yeah it doesn't do anything yeah. pradeep is saying there is no point of having 5g networks through india when most of the population don't have uh, three meals proper meals every day yeah, true. They, they, true. They, they, that is true but the other side is at least they have now access to good information they mm. might not inform themselves well no, no, but no. the access is there. There is 1.3 or 4 billion people. Like, that's a lot of fucking yeah. people. Not everyone is bad. Not everyone is good. But the problem is, like, the extremes, the extreme bad disturbs your perception out of the, ge the generic. One thing is for sure that uh, even if nothing ever happened to me, and I always try to see the positive, the, just the possibility of me feeling that unsafety, it is constant. And, and, and that, like, really worries me. Like, And then you hear, like, this news doesn't make it better but let's be honest and, and i feel like it will also take a lot of years for the india to move past this until like one day people say like this is enough and you know what unfortunately this will need to come from men whenever the men in general they start treating women in a different ways that's whenever the the actual change will happen yeah, we were talking about other day like how they treat upbringings of uh, the daughters and sons mm -hmm. it's so drastically different mm -hmm. And that also puts uh, the, the men in these situations to, to do like, okay, I can do whatever the fuck I want. Mm. My parents, they're going to accept me, you know. That also gives them a lot of power to do yeah. these things, yeah. to not be fearful to do certain things. There is one comment that we got that they said that there is more opportunities and equality for women in India than in any other country. In, in the Western. I was like, what? Whenever I read that, I was like, <laughs> I was okay, like, I, 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 I'm literally speaking to someone that is delusional. A lot of these people, they live on the internet. Whatever they consume is always internet biased, but they don't understand how the world works. They have to see how men also here, they treat women. Mm -hmm. They they are walking with any clothes and they are completely fine. They have a career growth. They they are leading companies. They, and again, it doesn't mean like this doesn't also happen in India. It, yeah. like, it is such a smaller percentage that they have. I, I, I said the same thing in one of our reels and mm -hmm. there was this guy, oh, you want to walk naked that's what freedom is yeah for you. literally there was a one girl in bikini was, was you or that was like those three girls right yeah 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 it's like oh freedom is is walking, walking on naked. a bikini uh is walking naked it was not even he didn't even say bikini he said naked yeah yeah, yeah. That, that was so dumb in india you can rape and you literally have chances to become a politician uh like we're saying my question is like why do p some people say something bad about a country when they haven't even been there okay there is like two, these two things okay uh, this is like the best example possible like do you need to taste shit to know it's bad no you don't right Everyone knows that yeah. shit is bad, right? So some things in life you don't have to taste or experience. You know about the bad neighborhood or you start like whatever you go. You start seeing like some dark shady things. You say, bro, I'm not going to go there. It is a bad neighborhood. Okay. You don't need, you don't need to go inside the neighborhood to go and really experience to know if it's bad or not. Like you already have like this sense that man probably is bad. So if now we think about it, you hear about this news, right? You hear, you see it like in many ways that things are not great. If he walks like a duck, he quacks like a duck, he's probably a duck. Okay, that's that's how all the saying it says, you know. So and also nobody is saying that everything is bad. Okay, just because a few things are bad, which which I feel like is also important for us to admit, man. Yeah, you know, hey. That's how it is. If we don't admit that things are bad, how can we change them? Because it, it, it's them, like you know? it's, it's illusion, man. Yeah. If you always think that, uh, even as a person, l let's talk about like because like a country is is a very complex organism. Okay, it is so complex. But if we trim it down, like to, as an individual, okay, you are a person. If you always have this delusional that everything is good about you, you are the best, uh, you don't need to change anything, you're probably gonna be a fucking asshole, and you, you're delusional, you're never gonna change, and probably you're gonna end up alone, you know, because you don't have any sense of progress, you, you don't have self-criticism, you, you, because you always think, oh man, I, I am so fucking great, I'm the best guy ever, uh, everyone does, and, and this is how people do, people that think they are great, and they are 
completely fine. They always point fingers. Nothing is wrong with them. Everyone else is bad. You are bad. No, no, me? No, I did. The, the, this is perfect. You did wrong. You did wrong. So they always try to project the guilt to someone else. And you know what I did is this? This is being a narcissist. That's what it is. You become a narcissist if you always think that every, everything is good about you and everything is bad with others. So the question is that instead of like thinking about like, why do people say something bad about something when they have not been there? I don't think that's the question. It said... Yeah. The question is, why are people saying bad things exactly. about that? Because here, what you're doing is like you're twisting it, pointing fingers that on, other person. on the other people. In instead of fixing ourselves. You're, fi you're pointing fingers at them that they, why are they saying bad things about them? No, you should think, why are, they are, why are people saying bad things about us? What is wrong? Like if a lot of people saying things, there are things that must be right, right? That's pretty much. 